Kianza hii mradi yetu sisi tulikuwa tunaenda kukata kuni mstuni ndio tukuje tuuze ili tuweze kualisha naye watoto wetu Sisi tulikuwa tunachoma makaa hata mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nachoma makaa Ndio nikuje niuze nipate kuwasaidia watoto wangu Maisha yalikuwa magumu 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 mpaka ilifika mahali tukaanza kusema na Mungu wako wapi sababu tulikuwa na shida nyingi watoto wakuwa naenda shule hata imani ikakosa hata kuenda kanisa ikawa unaenda tu kwa sababu ya kwenda hauna amani This is a group of widows who are about 15 that were mobilized by the local Catholic Church parish to just fellowship together and offer themselves uh, psychosocial support and being women in a pastoralist community also they had no entitlements at all which was made much more vulnerable by the fact that they were widows so they lacked the financial capacity to 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 uplift themselves and even provide uh, for the children uh, who are under their their care and so when World Vision came in, we trained them using the Savings for Transformation model in terms of how they can mobilize the local resources amongst them. Tukaitwa na World Vision kwa katufunza. Jinsi tutaendelea saidi kwa katufunza table banking. Jinsi tutatumia kutoa pesa na kuchukua kama deni na, kure, na kuregesha. Getting resources for vulnerable groups here, it is difficult. They cannot uh, access uh, financial support from banks and any other financial institution. So this was a viable way of ensuring that they have locally available resources mobilized to support them. And so they started saving as they save, then they could borrow. They save and then borrow. And as we are talking today, they have a turnover of half a million Kenya shillings that is circulating amongst themselves. And they are doing various businesses. In the answer, Becker, to Kapata Fadili Awali Fishon, to Katusa Idea Jinsia Kupata Majikombili, Nawafiana. Na kazi yetu iliendelea kupanuka. Tukaanza kupeleka mikate yetu kwa shule ya upili wa Kainuku Mixed Secondary School. Na pia tukatafuta tenda ingine Kapitri Secondary School. Hatukukua na uwezo wa wote. Lakini sasa hivi, inajivuna na ninafraia kwa sababu watoto wangu wanasoma. Watoto wetu wamefika mahali, ma, watoto wengine wamefika. Pia, tumewasaidia wale wa mama wengine wa kongwe. Wenye tulianza na wao kikundi pia kuna shares tunawasaidia wao. Hiyo ni kusema wao pia wanafaidika kupitia sisi. Na shukuru sana kwa sababu sisi kama kina mama tumesaidika, tumesaidika, maisha yetu umebadilika, manyumba tumejenga, watoto tumewasomesha, furaha imepatikana katika familia zetu. Utamaduni ile tulikuwa tumenyanyazwa imetuondokea sisi. So mpaka saa hizi tumefaidika kabisa kabisa na tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu